Moms. So I'm doing something just a little bit different tonight. Um, I've got my son filming for me, which is very handy because I tried doing it myself and it's just easier. Yeah. <laughs> Cam cameo shot. Um, I tried doing it myself and um, it's hard to do with, with one hand. But, so I am going to show you something. By the way, update, we sold our house. It sold within like just over a week and we got what we wanted for it and everything went awesome with that. So I'm in the midst, you can see I've got like stuff ready to go. Um, just junk packing. Don't show any more of the house, Adrian. <laughs> they wanna see the cat, oh, star of the show. Yeah, that's true. So anyway, the house is just a mess, but it has to get worse before it gets better. Anyway, um, in the in the heart of organizing, I thought that one of the things that I would do was show my grandma's antique sewing machine. And I know it looks like just any other sewing machine, but what's different about this one is that I haven't changed anything in the drawers. Like what she had in the drawers when I got it, I kept it that way because it's just so much fun to look through. So. Um, let's start with this one right here in the middle. And actually, I'll, I'll show you the machine and everything is still in there. Um, you can kind of, if you come around, you can see that here's the, the machine. And it's an antique singer. And I just, I think it is the coolest thing. And I've never done anything with it. So, but it's just there. It's just her machine. And I just think it's so sweet. So, okay, we'll start off in the center drawer here. And the first thing you'll notice is these are the bobbins for the machine. Isn't that wild? They look nothing like the bobbins that we use today. And honestly, they don't hold very much thread. I mean, look at that. That's not a whole lot of thread. So, but that's what they had for bobbins back in the day. Our bobbins today hold much, much more. Like here's one that's fairly full with this I think this is a black color charcoal. I think it was black, it's kind of faded now. But yeah, that's not very much. So so anyway, that's the first thing I always kind of marvel at. And then look at all these neat things. This I believe is a ruffler. I mean, look at that is like an engineering marvel. Look at that. This I believe is her buttonhole foot. Pretty sure that's what that is supposed to be. Um, I'm just guessing, by the way, if somebody knows better, let me know. I think that's a bias tape maker. You can kind of see there. And let's see what else. What does, what does this foot do? Wow, no idea. It actually, maybe it does like a little bit of, it's got a little thing there that it might just turn things over just a very little bit. No idea how I would use that. But um, yeah, and you can see here's her little marking wheel that she used to, to mark her patterns. Um, she's got a whole bunch of crochet hooks in here. She's got mostly little tiny ones, but here's a giant one. Yeah, lots of crochet hooks. And look at these neat screwdrivers that came with it. It's pretty, pretty uh, messed up on the end there, but little straight slot screwdriver. Here's another one little small screwdriver, it's kind of cool. Just never seen, oh, here's another one. One more even. Just a neat way to do a screwdriver. I've never never seen that before. But yeah, it's just the, the stuff she's got in, in there. And then over here, you can see she's got stamps and little pencils and this, I, it's, I, I looked at it at first and I thought it might be ivory, but it's not, it's just plastic but I'm sure that's just a little bodkin for threading ribbon and such through a little chamber. So that's that area. And then we'll move, oh, what have I got under here? I feel something, a piece of paper. Oh, you know what it is? It's, it's a little bit of masking tape. So, okay. In this drawer, so she's got a metal embroidery hoop. Nobody uses those anymore. And then, this is a really cool pin cushion. I know a lot of you have seen these, but it's got the original stuff in it. It's a little sewing kit inside the pin cushion. So there's a thimble. Look at those little balls of thread. Here's the needles that came with it. And yeah, so I've just kept that as is. 
So that's, I, I don't know, 1950s maybe is when that was from. I'm not really sure. Um, this, oh, this is the, this is the belt that goes on the sewing machine. So down here, this belt would have, oh, and then, oh, I've got two parts of it. So this belt would have thread through here and gone up and that's what ran it. So when you, when you ran the, the treadle, then that is what made it, made the machine go. So that's the belt. And I think that this is actually a working belt. It's, I, you'd have to be a sewing repair guy, but I think it, this goes through here and somehow they, they make it whole and I don't know how they do it, but that is, my, my mom told me that it's ready to go. Like if we ever wanted to fix it, we could. So there's the belt. And then look at these clothespins, good gravy. Like look at the size of that thing. It says, mm, I can't quite tell what it says, but it's, there's some engraving on there. I don't know if you can see what it says. I have no idea. But my mom told me that it has something to do, like these were made, these were used a lot for laundry. I don't know what they would hang from it, but here's those. She's got a giant wooden crochet hook that looks to be handmade. Yeah, I don't know where, where she got that, but a giant wooden crochet hook. And then this, I think must have been a gift for her. It, this is a mason jar lid. And then you can see there's some antique trim on here. And then there's also some like fake pearls and little jewels sewn on there. I'm wondering, and here's some little, little, a string of little pearls too. I'm sure they're plastic, but I'm wondering if my, one of my older cousins made this for her, um, as like a school project and gifted her that for Mother's Day or something. So that's my thought. I don't know for sure, but, um, it looks to be about that era. So I'm, maybe a gift from a grandchild or something like that. So, so that's the first drawer. Get this put back. Here's the next drawer. Ooh, lots of fun stuff in here. So in here, and maybe what I'll do is I'll put it up here so we can all see. So, oh, these are a little more modern. You can see the, the Kmart the Kmart uh, price tag on it, 94 cents for some Singer red band needles. Isn't that crazy? Oh, here's some elastic. Nice, 19 cents. I just love that. Um, here are some hooks and eyes, 10 cents. There's just one, one set of each left. You know, you don't waste a thing. Nowadays, we'd probably throw that away. Here's a bunch of buttons. 29 cents, some, oh, wow, these are old. Rust-proof snaps, isn't that fun? Just neat stuff in here. Ooh, look at this old Singer needle. Wow, that's old, machine needle. Although it says 2020. <laughs> that is cool. It doesn't have a date on here, but it does say made in West Germany. So it's definitely pre-1989. Uh, what else have we got? More buttons, just an assortment of buttons here. Lots of buttons. All right. Oh, these. We got a, a shoehorn, folks. It says Montgomery Ward on it. Montgomery Ward shoehorn. Some more giant clothespins. These, oh, what are these? Are these for curtains or are these... These are for garter belts. Look at that. They, they've saved everything. Here's elastic for garter belts, I think. Look at that. Wow. Um, these, I, I, like I said, I think these are maybe curtain hooks or something. I don't know. Somebody out there is going to tell me what they're for, I'm sure. Uh, more buttons. What are these? Oh. Were these, so they're kind of coated at the end. Are these like for inside of a girdle or a bodice? Like the, you know, how they had like the bones on the bodice, you know, like they would, I don't know. Is that what they're, I'm guessing. I have no idea, you guys. If somebody knows, tell me. Because I'm just making stuff up at this point. But I think it's something that gives 
form to something. And the fact that it's near the little garter things, that makes me think it's maybe supposed to go on like a girdle or something. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just making stuff up at this point. Oh, more of these little curtain rings or whatever they are. This is some kind of trim. Just some black trim. It's not even bias tape because it's already sewn. Maybe it was bias tape that got sewn up, but there's a seam on one edge, so there's a little piece of fabric. Maybe she was patching something. I don't know. It looks like it could have been from men's trousers or something. That kind of fabric. These are weights. What they're used for, your guess is as good as mine. No idea. Um, oh, here's, yeah, see, this goes right along. That looks like a bra hook, folks. See, I think I'm not far off with these. I don't know. This is the personal affects drawer, apparently. And then we've got a bunch of old spools. Most of them are wooden, although this one is new. The new polyester cotton wrapped for hand sewing on buttons, rugs, and heavy fabrics. Oh, that's kind of cool. Dual duty. Look at that. That's the old dual duty label. And here's some Coates and Clark dressmaker spool mercerized. This is kind of cool. This is um, a plug that you would screw into a light socket and then you could plug whatever you wanted into there. So if you had a light socket but you wanted a plug, this was your cheat. So, all right, so that's that door. All right, so I'm gonna tuck all this back inside here. Isn't this fun? I love going through this. Because there's always inevitably something that I find. I'm like, oh. And I'm sure a lot of you are going to weigh in and tell me what a lot of this stuff is. So, that in there. Montgomery Ward shoehorn. Who doesn't need one of those? Okay. That's the second drawer. we got four to go. Oh, okay. More spools. Another really well used and pretty tarnished embroidery hoop. All right, here is some like velvet ribbon, not velvet, but it's, um, reminds me of something that would have been used on a Christmas decoration at Christmas time in the 1950s. That's what it looks like to me. It's that kind of ribbon. Okay, um, spools. This spool is, oh, what do they call these? Knitting, knitting Nancy's or, need, it's where you, you can make the, the cording, the I-cord or whatever. So, and you use a thing to flip it. So you wrap it around and then you flip it. So she, that was a homemade version of that. And then, oh yeah, and this, and more, more wooden spools. Aren't they great? Look at that, American Thread Company. These are just such cool antiques. Look at these are, they're just empty. I don't know where those came from, but they're pretty cool. Now this box, I remember, this is buttons in here. This was originally, I'm sure it was a box that she got from my grandpa. Red cap screw anchors. The high red anchor with a collar. Big holding power. Look at that. Huh. Directions for use. I don't know, there's no date on this. It's pretty cool. And then here's all of her buttons and, and um, they would, you know, if they had several buttons that were the same, they would tie them all together. So like here, look at that button. Wow. That's pretty cool. Look at these. So yeah, just got a bunch of, ooh, look at those old Bakelite buttons. They almost look like knobs from a radio or something. But yeah, really fun, cool Bakelite buttons in here. Fun stuff. So there's that. The red cat box, okay. All right. Next, over here, what do we got here? Ooh. Oh yeah, this is funny. Somebody had flat feet in the family. Look at these things. 
they look like torture devices. But this, I guess, is the, the apparently the degree to which they bent it was what fixed your feet. So I don't know whose these are. This is the left, this is the right, but somebody had flat feet apparently. They look like they've hardly been used. So it says size seven, left seven W, right seven W. So yeah, flat feet. Here are some pins. So those are just straight little, little straight pins in their little container. This is a piece of leather that she has used for, I guess if you needed a piece of leather, you cut it off of here. So it's really soft, very soft leather. Um, she's got a Whitman's candy box in here, but inside are more hooks and eyes, some snaps that have the good housekeeping seal of approval. <laughs> and then lots of more, lots more straight pins in there. So there's that. And then in here, what have we got? More snap fasteners. Look at the cool, I, I just love this old advertising. Isn't that neat? Oakville Company, 10 cents. Wool Co. Superior Fasteners. Oh, look at those. The Perfect Dress Fastener, Star Snap. Large Sewing Holes, Guaranteed Rust Proof. Isn't that neat? They are fully guaranteed. I don't know who you would talk to if they didn't work though at this stage of the game. Nylon Elastic, quarter inch width. I could have made some masks with this. And more sewing machine needles, 85 cents. Fun. Drawer. All right, what's the next one? Oh, wow, lots of other old stuff in here, too. Here's some more hooks and eyes. Look at that El Dorado hooks and eyes made in USA. And then this one is Prim's. There's two of those left. A nobility product by Prim. 10 cents. Everything was 10 cents back then. And then we've got this is the drawer. Oh, look, we have more. More personal affects, more little garter garter connectors there. So I've got <clears throat> more Kmart elastic. I've got some twill tape, some bias, not bias tape, um, binding tape. And then these are all kinds of old trims. We'll just kind of start at the top and work our way around. So she's got some, some little bias tapes there. Trim text, fine bias tape, five yards. Look at that neat label. Color fast. Cool. All right. Oop. Hem facing boil text. This. Hmm. Is this elastic? Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> I was holding too much. That's all right. Okay. I don't no, I don't think that's elastic, but it's some kind of cording. There's no stretch to it, but it's kind of like um, some satiny cording. Um, here's some more. I'm going to just start putting them back in as I go here. More bias binding. It looks old. Rick Rack. Who doesn't love Rick Rack? And I actually use this from time to time on my finishing. I'll come down and get some of my, my grandma's Rick Rack. She's got a bunch of it, so why not? More Rick Rack, or more um, bias tape. Look at all this Rick Rack. Cameo brand. Rick Rack, color fast, nine yards. More, I don't know what this is here. This is like blanket binding? Oh, I bet it's for like a kid's like a ribbon. I bet that's blanket binding. Wow. Yep. Rights bias tape. All right. So that's that drawer. Lots of fun stuff in there. All right. Last one. Ooh. And a lot more of the same. This one's got like some zippers in it. So here's some more elastic from Murphy's. 49 cents. Huh. And then some more twill tape. 
Look at, they saved zippers from everything. So here's, here's an old, old zipper. Here's another old zipper, a little bit longer. Still works great, metal zipper. Oh, here's one probably from somebody's trousers or fly or something like that. Rick rack, more Rick rack. Boy, I don't know what this is. Maybe some more bias tape. She's just, they saved everything back, back then. More snaps, twill tape. What we got? Ooh, what's this? Oh, I don't know what this is. It could be another type of a bodkin. There's like a little, it's like a barrette. I don't know. Yeah, not sure what that was used for. Like I said, maybe a bodkin. Oh, here's some more pins. Wow, this is really dilapidated. So yeah, there's some more, more pins, straight pins. And yeah, just some more, oh, this looks like elastic. Yep, black elastic. This looks like um, silk ribbon. That's kind of neat. I might have to use that on some sort of a small because that's like the, the silk or the yeah, silk ribbon. Is that right? I think that's right. More twill tape, more rickrack, more bias tape, bias tape, skinny bias tape, more skinny bias tape. And oh, here's another little piece of elastic from like a bra that, oh, there's more of that silk ribbon wrapped on it. So look at that color silk ribbon. That would be fun to make a bow out of. That's a double whammy. They yeah. got the silk on the elastic. Yeah, that is cool. And then here's more elastic. And then just some scattered pins in the bottom, probably from that that, that worn um, pin, pin holder here. So... So that's it. That's what's inside my grandma's um, sewing machine, antique sewing machine. I just thought that would be kind of fun for everybody to, to look through with me. And I hope you enjoyed it. So have a great day, everybody. Bye.